ask any control system engineer or an expert and he would tell you that the valve characteristics always has to be linear then why do we mention in our data sheets that it should be equal percentage a lot of times the answer to it lies in actually going to a test facility so let us see how the valves are being tested if you see the valves when you have it in a testing line and you try to plot a curve with respect to in the x axis you have the percentage lift of the valve and on the y axis you have the flow in cv and when you try to keep the constant dp you get a very linear and a beautiful curve so at 100% of the valve lift you get going to get 100% of the flow at 50% of the valve lift you're going to get 50% of the flow these are called as inherent characteristics of the valve now Imagine that we put the valve in the actual process conditions. What is going to happen here? Let's try to plot the graph. So at X axis and the Y axis, we are going to have the lift and the flow CV percentage. And the surprising thing is it's not a linear curve. Why did it happen so? Because there was constantly change in the DP and it was not kept constant. This is called as the installed valve characteristics due to the changing DP but the test facility had the constant dp right now this non-linearity is what we don't require so engineers were kind of confused that the inherent characteristics were linear in the test facility but when the same valve was put in the plant the characteristics were non-linear this is something which is very troublesome and engineers were trying to find is there a solution to it and there is a very smart and creative solution what you do is you can't play with what happens inside the plant but you can surely try to understand and modify the inherent characteristics of the valve so if you try to modify the inherent characteristics that when it is finally installed in the plant the together output of this is a linear curve and this is where comes the engineering criteria of selecting the right characteristics usually we have three characteristics which is quick opening linear and equal percentage now let's see how to select which characteristics so Bellagi Liptax book is amazing which has a table which is 6.1 F which I've been using for a lot of years and has been quite helpful to me so I'll try to share with you how do I calculate the characteristics so imagine here that you have a valve with minimum pressure and the maximum pressure as 60 psig and 100 psig the formula is very simple p max upon p min which is equal to 100 upon 60 which is going to be equal to 1.67 so basically the pressure variation here is less so it tries to recommend to go for a linear characteristics and if the pressure variation is more for example here it is 100 to 25 psig here you might have to modify the formula modify the values in such a way that basically when you try to put 100 upon 20 you are going to get the answer of 4 which is basically about 2 so you have to go for the second column which says to go for an equal percentage valve now if you try to understand the basic concept even if you don't want to follow the exact table it basically states is if the variation of pressure that is p max upon p min is less you are having less variation so you're not going to have a lot of deviation from the characteristics so you can go for linear characteristics but if the variation in pressure is more you should equally go for a characteristics which can balance it so usually you go for an equal percentage with the final balanced value being a linear characteristics but you might have this question that what if your selection is not very accurate yes it is a very valid question and the answer to it is that with the current power or the digital capabilities and the programming capabilities together the control system engineers are able to achieve a very good linearity of the system and in tough cases where the dp is too high you can also seek vendor recommendations to get it but remember that all of this is only applicable when you don't have cavitation flashing or choked flow so be very sure if you've not been clear with this concept and how to avoid them here's the video on right side and on the left side which will show you how to avoid these aspects and to engineer a safe plant until next saturday happy learning take care